Hi everybody, <laughs> we are here again um, since Sunday. I I feel, um, I'm not quite sure what I feel more rested. Um, I still have, uh, bizarrely, this uh, lingering, it's not even a cold, um, <clears throat> sort of not well-being, but I'll be okay. Um, I still have to do the work. I think it's possibly very much the end of the season we had um a sudden temperature drop uh so i lit my first fires uh which is very odd because normally in the beginning of october we still can be sort of inverted commas be roasting having a scorcher well not this year um and we desperately need rain rain so and uh, well, I do have a bit of a snivelly nose, but anyhow, I would, um, um, Sunday's video, I mean, I, I was really so exhausted and my brain was also so exhausted um, when I was trying to explain um, what happened during the progression with Amanda Scherzer. And this time I think I'll be able to spell it correctly <laughs> and not butcher it completely. Um, and I hope others have um, tried um, to do the progression. It's really worth it. Um, pardon me. Oh, gosh, I should have taken a hanky. I do apologize. <laughs> Sorry, just the, my water is over there, so I'm not going to get it. Don't worry. Um, okay, I also found um, the some... Um, Frequency animations that I think are used, uh, um, you know, to accompany uh, various club nights and so forth, or, you know, music pieces. Um, and I found one that at least looks like uh, remotely what I experienced with being within or being the event wave. Of course, um, the seven pillars uh, of light, the Elohim, told me that everybody will be experiencing the event um, differently. Um, uh, they will sense it coming differently, they will see it differently, if at all, or experience it differently. But what I wanted to talk about today is also more information, and soon the channeling is going to come along um, as soon as I feel a little bit not as much under the weather, um, uh, there is also already information gathering um, sort of here. They, 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 they keep on feeding it through anyway. So two topics, as I said, I've got two, two clips that explain the best how it felt like being in the event way. Um, secondly, I want to talk more about, to have some more information about um, these downloads. Um, well, I call them source downloads. <coughs> um, that's the information I had been given during my sleep state. Um, and I'm sure uh, other people have them. And um, I've been asking the seven pillars about those. Um, and the information sort of just got through as a, a stream of knowing as such and um, I'd like to touch upon that as well and the other thing is um, about the event timelines I touched upon that in my uh, earlier video from Sunday where I was recounting the experience being in the event wave or being the event wave. Um, <clears throat> um, sorry, <laughs> um, I, I got uh, sidetracked. I do apologize. I just got a bit more information through. So um, I, went, I went vacant for um, a brief, uh, a few seconds. So, um, so yes, talking about um, the event timeline switches or chopping and changing so that's information i've been given as well so first off um 
these downloads that I'm sure other people receive in their sleep state are here to, and I think I touched upon that in the other video, they are literally um, awaken, dormant um, DNA within us um, and um, let's say other switches to be flicked that are ne necessary for when the event hits to be fully prepared and the seven pillars let me know that um, it is very vital that you pay attention to um, what you experience in your sleep state because um, many light workers and you know we are in the end all light workers unless we really engage working for the less the more darker um, forces um, that sounds that's, that's such a laden term let's say oh now i'm getting i just I put another log on the fire and i'm getting really hot sorry let me take that off <laughs> so um <clears throat> pardon me i just quickly um have to take a break i really hope now the video doesn't go weird because i had to quickly stop it um uh i just wanted to um check that the phone is not going to ring so yes downloads that become upgrades as such and i mentioned that in the other video that these are vital to prepare us for the event because what the seven pillars were saying that the frequency the source frequency of the event that we have been seeding ourselves and henceforth are manifesting it um is so intense um that we we need to upgrade further otherwise it could be detrimental um to our bodies to our health to um, people's sanity i think amanda shirts in a channeling mentioned that too and i think um i i mentioned that sometime back with regards to the event and receiving or being open to receive further downloads that then upgrade our body they are vital as such sorry um this is not going to be a humongously long i always say that <laughs> i always say that it's not going to be a humongously long video um so just pay attention just um that you're receiving those and um, don't feel alarmed by receiving these um, downloads in whatever form or shape they are coming just just let them work within um, I had to do the same um, since last week I have not been receiving these downloads um, any longer so maybe I just got what I needed to have although that doesn't help the state of my head um or this weird it, it feels like a head cold but isn't really i i cannot put my finger on it it doesn't feel like ascension symptoms either so i have no clue maybe i'm just incredibly exhausted from um the whole season that started in the month of march and now we're october and i've been <laughs> going and going and going anyhow um but that that's not very interesting sorry um so yes these downloads pay attention because they're very important to prep you um for um first off further um i mentioned in the last video many many events or in the shape of many they come in the form or pattern of many events and um will will have quite an impact um, and they, they'll be coming throughout October. Now with regard to uh, the timeline of the event, I know I repeat myself like a broken record what the seven pillars of light the Elohim have been channeling through 
it's gonna come when the moment is just right and it's really important or important that you hold on to that um, statement because again the seven pillars were saying it's very important that you are sufficiently lit up let's say that all your little lights let's say talking about making the analogy of a Christmas tree for the moment our Christmas tree has maybe a third um, lit up and we need to light up these you know the, the fairy lights further I love fairy lights by the way so um, the, the the waves that are coming in and as well as the downloads that become upgrades they're all there to prepare you and not to freaky freaky out now I wrote earlier to uh, Amanda Schertzer, um that after I had the uh, being the event wave uh, during the progression um, I, I feel far more linked now to the wave it's really bizarre I sense when it's here when it's there what it's doing um, and that is not very precise what I just said basically there had been a moment where um, the event wave was not on the menu any longer because they thought that the negative polarity experiment um, that we are in in third density is such a valuable learning tool um, you experience and henceforth you you learn and so it was not for quite some time and I felt it absent in inverted commas not on the menu because up until let's say end of August and beginning of September when I said I feel eventish I really felt it so close at hand and then whoosh nothing and I thought okay I just let it I let it hang there and now what I sense is for the moment and not to freak you guys out at all the seven pillars of light the Elohim have told me it is still on the menu yet still more work has to be done um, they're very happy inverted commas with the progress of let's say the, the the foam on the wave as they always call it they call light workers way showers and uh, healers and so forth as um people on the foam uh, like the foam of the wave let's say on the forefront that's why that's why they call way showers and I completely lost my train of thought. This is impossible. Um, yes, sorry. <laughs> because I, I'm always listening out to the holiday makers in case I have to quickly press the pause button. Somebody knocking, not having another <laughs> um, interlude. Sorry. Um, so that... Oh, Jesus Christ. Um it's gone it's, I do apologize really let me recap so the seven pillars of light Elohim were telling me that um, the event is still on the cards or on the menu but um, as I said yes we still need to inverted commas adjust or awaken further to be really more prepared um, otherwise I mean just remembering how I felt inverted commas being the wave was a huge um, stress to my body really my heart was it was uh, as I said in the last video it was bordering really un unbearable um, uh, so if if that's what it's going to feel like many people's um, organism vessels 
will not be able to um, withstand it because the, the 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 frequency and the vibration and the pulse of the event wave, um, as I said in the last video, is the purest of the purest bright white light at the core of the wave, if if one can say so. And that white bright light is then the light that makes contact or the frequency, let's say, contact with um, the sentient being and has the <laughs> implosion and then explosion. I say again, nobody's, you know, <laughs> what I've seen, it is just the, the, the implosion is the integration of it and then it goes out back and feeding back into the event wave and it amplifies it as it carries on and that is a new angle somehow of it that it gains as you say in French ampleur um, um, and I don't know now um, amplitude in English sorry that just mm. so um, you, do, you do have to <laughs> please apologies living um, and being uh, surrounded uh, by oops, French and German speaking individuals um, my brain gets sometimes scrambled so you do have to bear with me so um, it is very important to get these further downloads henceforth than upgrades because it would be too um, stressful to handle that bright white light that makes contact and whizzes through. I, I mean, it was only a matter of seconds. So that is very important. And I know, I mean, um, uh, I know that everybody is so much um, desiring the event and it'll come when it's just right that's the only thing I can say now um, coming back to okay 60 minutes coming back to the timelines in um, since I've experienced this I'm sensing the event constantly switching timelines and it's very disconcerting but I don't want to freak you out it's still going to happen because I think the ones that and Amanda Schertz's um, collective that she channeled um, very nicely explained that that there are some soul shards that are stuck in that loop that they don't even realize and that's so nicely put I couldn't have put it any better that they actually need help or that they need to ascend so uh, some of these individuals or soul shards need just a tiny bit more time in our 3D paradigm to sort of catch on or to have a, a, a simple awakening moment. Um, the seven pillars have told me as well that um, the, 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 the beacon lightings, uh, the beacons lighting up for the moment has slowed let's say slowed or has has come to a certain plateau but i'm sure it's gonna you know carry on but um there has been a huge push towards the end of summer and that's also when i felt the event very close and then gone and gone and gone going 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 and then back again and um so it i think depending on what is happening on a larger scale. Um, uh, it will keep on switching timelines. Um, and in Amanda Schertz's uh, channeling, um, they were saying maximum, I think three months, a few months, but not years. So, that might actually may may actually tie up with that um, when I then was during the progression down in the uh, gravel court 
of the monastery in the middle of the night alone and I want to add something to that because Sunday I was just so knackered was um, I was talking about being pulled towards the south southwest also also it was where the valley is really opening and the other thing was as I said it felt like being in a vacuum the other thing was that within that pull that I sensed going towards the event or what is just about to transpire I didn't feel the need usually I'm the one that is the first one on the phone going oh man have you seen this and there was none I I was as I said that's why this vacuum this encapsulation it was something that uh, I think many will just have to experience in in a personal space. I think it, it will be certainly, there will be a myriad of different scenarios how you will experience and live the event. But for the moment, we will still have to light up the rest of the Christmas tree or a good portion of it. Um, and this will come in October. I have even a sense till the beginning, mid of November. And then I have sort of, like I'm coming onto a screen or a, where I cannot for the moment see any further. So um, for the moment, what I've been seeing is that the event keeps on switching timelines. As we are evolving and as the desire grows um, and we just need to be more prepared. Sorry, I hope that <laughs> that this video makes more sense than the last one because I was so tired and now I feel I have many blanks because so much information is coming in as my crown chakra is opening so possibly channeling coming on um, with regards to that but we are headed in the right direction and it is still on the menu I have that more or less yeah, confirmed by the seven pillars of light the Elohim so you just have to bear with it, um, hang on to, and I say it in a different way, what the seven pillars were saying, hang on to these mini bliss moments that you had in summer or in spring, or just at that moment when you felt eventish, where you had that moment of feeling at one, and in Amanda Schertz's uh, channeling, they say it really nicely, um, uh, her collective she channels. So um, I will uh, put beneath the um, this video the graphics that reminded me the most of when I was within the event, event wave or the ev event wave. I'm still very <laughs> starting. There's still more information coming through. So I will keep on talking about this for some time. But it is on the menu, the event. It just keeps on for the moment switching timeline. It slides in one and slides out of one. So as the seven pillars always say, everything is in flux. But... You know, it will happen when the moment is just right. Gosh, I always end on the same note now. This is very boring. I do apologize. <laughs> but it is so, I know everybody, fe I feel also the preoccupation with when is the event coming? Is it coming soon? Is it coming in October? Will it be years? Um I don't want to settle, I don't want to be either side of the fence. Um, okay, sorry. At the <laughs> there is a possibility, there could be, there is a slim possibility, because there are only open possibilities. Every timeline is as such an opening of 
something of a possibility to become and to be. And October can be, but it is more likely to be after. And please, please, please don't take now a nosedive. You held on for so long now. Just think of yourself that like um, you're preparing for the event wave and with what is coming in now and that is really important. So it's the the pre-show and it will come. So I'm not going to say again what the seven pillars of light have said. So I hope that helped. I will put the visuals that I found that are the closest what it looked like being within the event, event wave. But love you loads and um, I'll certainly very shortly within the next few days we'll put on um, all the seven pillars um, of light. The Elohim will channel something through. It's brewing. Okie dokie. Love you lots. Love you with all my heart. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.